हेलो चिल्ड्रेन गुड मॉर्निंग आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर हेल्दी एंड सेफ एट होम डियर चिल्ड्रेन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू कॉरोशन ऑफ मेटल्स वॉट इज द कॉरोशन ऑफ मेटल्स एंड हाउ इट विल कॉस कॉरोशन ऑफ मेटल इज एन ऑक्सीडेशन प्रोसेस कॉरोशन इज बेसिकली कॉस्ड बाई द मॉइस्ट एयर एंड इफ द एयर कंटेन कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड हाइड्रोजन सल्फाइड द करोशन गेट्स एसेलरेटेड दैट मीन्स द प्रेजेंस ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड हाइड्रोजन सल्फाइड इंक्रीजेज द रेट ऑफ करोशन सो लेट मी डिफाइन वॉट इज करोशन करोशन ऑफ मेटल इज द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ लेयर्स ऑफ अनडिजाइड अनडिजाइड मीन्स अनवॉन्टेड compounds such as metallic oxide metallic hydroxide or metal sulfides on the surface of metals the process is called corrosion of metals in standard 10 we have to learn the corrosion of following metals aluminum iron copper and corrosion of iron metal before explaining the corrosion of iron let me show you some objects made up of iron here you can see in all these objects there is a brown coating this brown coating is of ferric oxide or we can say hydrated ferric oxide and this hydrated ferric oxide that is called rust this ferric oxide layer is formed when iron come in contact with moist air moist air when iron comes in contact with moist air the formation of hydrated ferric oxide here hydrated stands for water molecule ferric oxide fe2o3 x stands for the indefinite number of water molecules this hydrated ferric oxide oxide is called rust which is brown in color which we can see in our daily life next metal for which we have to learn the corrosion that is copper metal copper metal when comes in contact with carbon dioxide in presence of oxygen and water the original color of copper is brown in color when it come in contact with this it will form basic copper carbonate when we are talking about basic that stand for base copper hydroxide stand for base copper carbonate basic copper carbonate and this is called corrosion of copper the basic copper carbonate thus form that is green in color one good example for this very well you know the statue of liberty which you might have learned in your gk now in the picture if you see the statue of liberty it is green in color but children do you know of which metal it is made up of it is made up of copper over the iron metal that means it's supposed to be in brown in color now you can see it is green because of corrosion of the copper with carbon dioxide oxygen and water corrosion of silver metal here i will show you the original color of silver and silver object or silver metal after the corrosion the original color of silver is silvery white whereas when it get corroded or we can see corrosion of silver as a tarnishing of silver it turns to coated with the black color that means when silver metal come in contact with hydrogen 
sulfide hg sorry ag plus h2s it will form ags here sulfur valency 2 silver 1 so formula will be aj2s and liberate hydrogen gas this silver sulfide silver sulfide does form black in color and this we can call it as a corrosion of silver metal here it is white or silver white color we can call this one as a and turns to black color next is corrosion of aluminum when aluminum metal comes in contact with atmospheric oxygen it get corroded to form aluminum oxide the aluminum oxide layer thus form is highly stable oxide layer due to this highly stable oxide layer it prevent further reaction of aluminum and hence aluminum is always useful for children you can see so many objects made up of aluminum around you in your daily life for example aluminum rod aluminum wire aluminum pan cooker etc other than this you can see the aluminum foil which we are using for so wrapping the food materials or wrapping the medicines so because of this oxide layer only we can use the aluminum metal for all this purpose so children with this my today's topic is over next class i will teach you rancidity and i will discuss the question answer of the exercise by the time you people try to solve all the exercise questions